The number of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. tops 6 million. The death toll now more than 180,000. But a statistic released by the Centers for Disease Control states 6% of deaths were caused by only COVID-19. And this, of course, has sparked confusion and misinformation. Will Uick separates fact from fiction. When I saw that the 6% was some interpreted as, 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 as saying, oh, it's not serious, it was upsetting. A viral post over the weekend shared on Twitter and Facebook by thousands claimed the CDC said only 6% of reported COVID-19 deaths were caused by COVID-19. A claim that Dr. Keith Armitage, the medical director of the UH Rogue Green Center for Travel Medicine and Global Health, says is very misleading. Just because the death certificate has COVID and obesity and hypertension and diabetes doesn't mean they didn't die of COVID. They died of COVID. They just had these risk factors for an adverse outcome from COVID. Broken down further of the 94% that died of COVID-19 and additional conditions, some of those conditions may have been caused by COVID-19. The bottom line, Dr. Armitage says those 94% would most likely all still be alive had it not been for COVID. Their prognosis is not bad in the, in the next 10 or 20 years, and, and, and COVID is taking some of them, and it's awful. Put in another context, Dr. Keith Armitage says this would be like someone with heart disease that got in a car accident and died of internal bleeding. Although the cause of death would be the internal bleeding and they did have a heart disease, it was the car accident that caused the death. And in the case of this pandemic, COVID-19 is that car accident. If, if someone is in the hospital and ends up on a ventilator from COVID and dies of respiratory failure and the doctor puts on the death certificate respiratory failure, you know, they wouldn't have had that except they had COVID. But there is reason for optimism on one COVID-19 front, vaccines. All the reports of the vaccine trials are positive. All the reports show early trials showing safety and early trials showing a good immune response. Will Uick. And I'm very optimistic we'll have good vaccines, you know, more than one in a matter of months. Three news.